Jesus knew that this would be his fate, mm. didn't he? Yes. Uh, he also knew that he would rise on the third day. Mm. And so because he knew all of this, and he knew that he would go through this ignominious death, why does the text or the scriptures uh, um, show him on the cross um, pleading to the Father? Mm -hmm. Are you referring to, my God, my God, why have you forsaken, forsaken me? me? Yes. Well, it's interesting. Uh, that's, that's my text for Good Friday. And, and that's quoting Psalm 22, first of all, mm -hmm. which in Psalm 22 not only ends in victory, but is followed by Psalm 23, which is a victorious psalm as, as well. Why does he do that? Because it's the Reformed view, it's the Presbyterian view, that Jesus was forsaken by the Father on the cross, that that was the penalty of sin, was, was to endure the penalty or the wrath and the fury of the Father, so that there was a, a, a few moments or a few hours uh, on the cross when Jesus experienced the fury of the Father. Yes, but he knew, um, Reverend MacPhail, that he would have been beaten and wounded for our transgressions yes. and bruised for our iniquities. He yes. knew that yes. before he was sentenced to death. Yes. And so on the cross, he made a plea. Uh, why didn't, did he not take his, the treatment? Hmm. Um, knowing that he had to go through this treatment for our sins. Mm. Technically speaking, that wasn't a plea. Uh, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That's, that's an exclamation. That's a statement. The plea was in the Garden of Gethsemane when he said, Father, take this cup from me. Yes. And he prays that repeatedly. But finally, not, not my will, but your will be done. Jesus spoke about his death in a matter-of-fact way throughout his ministry. I don't think Jesus was afraid of dying. When he says, take this cup from me, and you look at the Old Testament usage of the term cup, it was always, almost, not always, it was often a metaphor for God's wrath and his fury. Jesus wasn't worried about dying. He was worried about the fury, the, the wrath of God. The, the separation from his father, which he enjoyed for all eternity as the second member of the Trinity. The fellowship of the Trinity would be interrupted on the cross. But he knew that he was the God-man. He knew that he was the divine walking among us. He knew. Yeah. We can't imagine what it would be like to have eternal fellowship with the Father and then have that interrupted. In but wasn't, time wasn't, that, wasn't that an example or a demonstration of his humanity? Not so much a demonstration. We needed him to be human yeah. to represent yeah. us. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have to take another break here on the program. And uh, uh, Reverend MacPhail, uh, Bren MacPhail, the minister of St. Andrew's Presbyterian Kirk, our guest here today, we'll come right back.